Thank you. All right, but, but hold up. What, what, is, what is this? You don't respect wood. And here it is. The mystery guitar. Let's do this like every good YouTuber should. Let's unbox it, shall we? All right, we've got the box cutter. You shouldn't ever uh, drag a knife in your direction like they just did. Any guesses? If you guys think you know what guitar this is, drop it in the comments. Ooh, first bit of packaging. Second bit of packaging. Did that reveal it? Ooh, it didn't on that side. Well, here we go. It's a Yamaha silent guitar. It's my first guitar in probably about 10 years. All right, let's, let's get over here for the reveal. Oh, it's in a gig bag. <laughs> it's kind of a nice gig bag, actually. Bow. This is the SLG 200N, which is a silent guitar. Now it will look like a guitar. Oh, that was actually really easy. That's super easy to assemble. Thank you, Sweetwater. So, I want to introduce you guys to my new guitar. She currently does not have a name, so if you guys want to drop a name suggestion in the comments below, um, maybe we'll name her together. So this is the Yamaha SLG 200N. The SLG stands for Silent Guitar, and then the N stands for Nylon. So this costs about $729 at the time of this recording. They also have a few different models of this, the 200NW, which is nylon but wide and then the 200S, which is steel string, like a regular acoustic guitar. I really prefer this 200N to the NW because the width on a regular nylon is sometimes a little bit too fat to really get your hand around if you're not used to that or not comfortable with that coming from a regular electric guitar. And the 200N is about two millimeters shorter or less wide than the NW, and it really makes for a much more comfortable experience. If you are used to nylons, it still feels, it is wider than a regular electric guitar neck, but sort of in between. They, they kind of, um, kind of in that Goldilocks zone here. Later, we'll talk about why I got this, why this is basically my first guitar in about 10 years. But I actually wasn't going into the shop to buy this guitar. I was actually trying to get the John Mayer Silver Sky, the SE. That's the one I was looking for. And I called uh, Sam Ash and the guy's like, yeah, we have we have one of those in, in uh, one of the colors, Dragon Fruit, I think. Um, come in and check it out. So I drove over, checked it out. And when I got there, they didn't have it. So the guy <laughs> told me that they had it and they didn't have it, but that's classic Sam Ash for you. I was like, well, I'm already here. Let me, I might as well try out some of the other guitars I was kind of interested in. So I went into their acoustic guitar, classical guitar section pick this one up and it just felt so good to play. The way that the action is set up and the intonation is all great, like right off the bat. This is surprisingly comfortable. It's obviously very light because it's no body, it's bodiless. Um, some of the other features here about it, and this will lead into the other section about portability, but you can unscrew the um, strap knobs and this part just comes right off. And then in the gig bag, it packs in so this becomes super light. It actually reminds me a lot of my um, my recurve bow, the Samic Sage, which also has um, limbs that you bolt in, screw in like this. In addition to this um, finish, this is the translucent black, which was the only one they had there, and is the one I preferred even after looking at some different finishes for this model. Um, they have different sunbursts and crimson and more of a natural look as well. Um, but really, it was the features on this side, which you may not be able to see, but it's it's right here. It has a spot for batteries. So you can either plug this in with power, like a DC jack, or with batteries. I've been running it from batteries, and so far it's been great. Um, 
not exactly sure how long it lasts, but definitely at least a few hours. And um, I know people use this also in live situations. So I'm sure the batteries will be pretty good. Um, it has an onboard tuner, which is really nice. A volume knob. And then here we have this pickup and then a blend and then mic. So this knob right here has a little blend. And what I'll show you is it has a piezo pickup in here. And but that sound is like this. So that's just the sound that it's picking up. But they also have what's called an SRT powered system for this. And it's basically um, modeled after them miking up a really nice nylon Yamaha guitar. And we can blend that mic sound in. So the fully mic sound, fully SRT powered sound is this. It has a little bit more depth and a little bit less presence. The ideal for me and mo most people that have tried this is really a blend of the two, but you can kind of dial in exactly what you prefer. So that's a really nice feature here. We also have a um, two band equalizer with the treble and bass. Most people, and I agree with this, have suggested rolling down the bass because it does tend to have a lot of boom to it. So I've rolled the bass down basically completely off and the treble's just right at noon. You can also plug in, um, in addition to headphones, you can plug in an aux right underneath. Aux in, this is also where the DC in is for the power. So if you wanna play along the backing tracks or plug in your computer while you're playing silently. And that is the cool thing about this, why it's called the silent guitar, is you can plug in headphones. It actually comes with some little ear pods right here. The sound on the headphones as silent. Now, obviously I can't have you guys hear that, but it is phenomenal. So even with really bad headphones, when you plug these in and then you turn on a little bit of this um, reverb, some of the effects that they have here, you sound like you're in a concert hall. It's, it's really, really phenomenal. And that's also one of the things that um, I hadn't even actually tried prior to buying it. Um, the whole silent guitar part of it, I, I didn't even test it before I, I purchased it because I really got it just from how well it played and how well it felt and how it, just like comfortable it was. And from there, the, not, the silent part was really just like a welcome feature. So obviously it's not fully silent in the sense that even if I turn my volume off, it still has some acoustic properties, but it's essentially silent. And when you turn on these effects, so it has three effects, reverb one, reverb two, and a chorus. Reverb one is a room reverb. So we have like a... You can dial in how much of that you want. So less room reverb or more. And then it also has a hall reverb, which is reverb two. This is the one that sounds really nice if you're playing this with um, headphones in. So like. like my go-to on this. And then it also has this chorus effect, um, which to me gives sort of a Pat Metheny type of sound. It's, it's pretty nice, but I probably would use it in live situations more than just like solo guitar, but it's like the. It's a cool little three um, effect thing to have, especially the reverb part, um, to try out. Now this isn't a full review because you know I've only had this a few weeks, but honestly, it is fantastic. I don't imagine having any issues with it because it's already been so fun to play with. 
um, especially on the side of gigging. And this is what I wanna talk about, the couple of reasons why you might get this guitar. Two big reasons is portability and playability. I'll also say this is not sponsored at all. I spent my money to buy this um, and I don't buy much gear. So this is just me talking about this guitar because it's great. Pretty much everything from Yamaha is great. When I played piano as a kid, Yamaha pianos were the best. So they do great work on instruments. But the two main reasons are playability and portability. Um, I'll show you guys the gig bag and, and everything there as well. But the playability, like I talked about, is awesome. You saw a clip earlier of me playing it. And especially for situations, if you're someone who gets called for either solo guitar gigs or sometimes wedding ceremonies and they're asking for a nylon guitar or an acoustic guitar, sometimes they ask for acoustic guitar but they don't really know what they mean, then this is definitely the guitar I'm gonna use. Because prior to this, you know, you have to bring an amp, get mic'd up if it's a regular nylon. I'd have to borrow a friend's nylon because I don't have a nylon myself. Now I do. But with this, I can just plug direct into the sound system, dial in some reverb, blend the sound that I want, and this thing packs away to just be super light on my back without carrying an amp. And some of these wedding gigs and ceremonies, you end up playing them outside, in the heat, sometimes on the beach, in the sand. So it's so much more helpful to just literally have this, not have to bring my amp or anything to those situations. That's on the playability side. On the portability side, the thing that I also didn't really take into account here is because it's so light and packs down in such a small bag, I find myself taking this in situations where I wouldn't normally bring a guitar just because it's too much hassle. So like a quick day trip somewhere, if I'm hanging by the pool or the beach or like at a park, this is something that I can bring, and I have brought on some day trips, where otherwise I wouldn't have brought a guitar. Like I'm not gonna bring my jazz guitar in the case, and it's too, too much of a hassle to carry that heavy thing while you're carrying other stuff. This is so easy to just throw on in addition to carrying your other stuff. And then because of the silent feature, I can just plug in headphones and just jam. Um, get practice in when I normally wouldn't especially in the mornings or in situations where you don't want to disturb other people. Overall, this has really been a great experience. Um, really glad I got this. And maybe in the future I'll get the Silver Sky, but I'm not really too worried about that when I have this to jam with. So um, let me show you guys the gig bag real quick. So let me pack this down. All right, so we have this gig bag. You know, on the on the website, they call it a durable gig bag, but they're really not kidding. It's it's a well-made gig bag. It's not like a really bad, you know, thin, it has some actual padding to it. So essentially all that you do is we unscrew these sides. This comes out, screw these back in. This goes in here. And then it has a separate compartment for this piece. And they even show you exactly how to put it in with the little outline. So this goes in like that. Velcro's in. And then goes up like that. And this whole thing is so small. And it has another section where you can put books. I wonder if my iPad fits in here iPad fits, you can have an iPad if you're doing music um, or for a gig, iPad, headphones. Um, right now I just have some of the stuff it comes with inside of it. But this is great. They even have multiple handles, like a handle on the side, these handles, and then a back strap. So to me, this is a 10 out of 10 guitar. If you guys want to get one, check it out. Like I said, there's no affiliate link. This is not sponsored. Just a great guitar that I love to play. So. Hopefully you guys found that enjoyable. You can check out some of my other lessons here.